first of many victories, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a Machiavellian ploy to turn this game around. Be prepared to be amazed. My genius. But first, it's time for some warm up with some Tetris. And then some epic trailer music. Let's look off. Let's get to that rank 50. Suck on those nuts, dude. was a bit of a misclick. <laughs> Got, uh, I've got the craziest of plans to turn our game around and get the gold medal, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we need. The gold medal stipulates we need every coastal province in the world owned by either us or our vassals. Well. We also need all the naval supplies, but most importantly, it's every coast of province. Now we went ahead and let ourselves a little bit go and uh, conquer a bit more than just that. Oh, and, you know, in order to to get those provinces on time, we were forced to declare war on the coalition because they were preventing me. Declaring war on the final few targets. So, we had to fight the coalition in order to be able to take the land that we wanted to take, as the targets were in the coalition. Now, with those targets being in the coalition, and with that fancy fancy rule of can't join coalition when in truce. Well, let's just say we found the solution to all of our problems. Well, aside from the 175% overextension that we're at, but you know, that's going to be solved in about a year. So, that's nothing major. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty bad. There you go. In the face of adversity, that's where genius do it shows, ladies and gentlemen. That's where, uh, that's where stuff starts to get done. All 
I need to do now is not die and then he'll lose because I've KO'd him once and he hasn't done the same to me, so... As long as I don't get myself KO'd, I can just like fuck around right now. There you go. <laughs> One more win, ladies and gentlemen, for rank 15 and then we can get the stream on the go. I will take nothing but total victory this day. Nothing. Total victory will be mine. Yes. Man, you are drunk. No. Well, yes, I am drunk on, on the idea of victory. It's true. Drunk with the thought of me owning all the coastal provinces. I'll give you that. <laughs> Take my double Tetris to the face! Oh man, I am playing well. Holy shit! Get on my fucking touch level! bit of a mistake. Nothing that can be easily solved with. Dealt with though. Fifty-three lines. Rank up. No, I still need to win one more. Oh no, I did rank up. Okay. We are now a champion. <laughs> See, even Tetris knows how to address me. Wist je dat Barcelona een strand heeft dat 4 kilometer lang is? Even Tetris knows. If you can figure out how I am going to get the gold medal before I come back from my, uh, from my getting of coffee and my smoking of cigarette, letting people join the stream, if you can figure that out, I will personally give you a cookie. You can figure out the strategy in this. Uh, in case you missed yesterday, we are at... 176% over extension, trying to core these provinces. Uh, coalition is uh, Europe plus that and that. Or at war with this. And, uh, well, if you look at the troop numbers, it's more or less equal. The only problem we're going to have is that I don't think I can beat this in 11 years. I'm also beating people that I don't really need to beat. A lot of these I don't want any land. So, and that's giving you the maximum amount of hints.
Ja! Yeah. Ja, ik zeker. Ah. Kick as many people out as fast as possible, then truth break a lot. Also, know what happens after 1821, isn't there? You're close, but you're not quite radical enough to walk in. You're not right or radical enough. Unless you pulled the Theodoro trick again, you can't exactly separate peace coalition members. Oh, but I can. But, uh, you know what? I feel like exploiting the same bug twice. In the words of our master and lord up in the sky, DDR Jake isn't quite there. You know, that's not, it's not really uh, the coolest way of doing things, but we're planning on doing that. In fact, we're moving these two armies into Poland and Lithuania to form a front here that is completely and utterly unbeachable. The maximum amount of troops that these people can put together into one army uh, before tripping balls and splitting it back up again is about 250. So if we have 120 here, uh, 40,000 there, 40,000 there, we'll have more or less the troops required to uh, to constantly and utterly defeat this coalition. And if we had another 30 years, we might do that. We might separate piece every one of these people. But you know what? We don't really have the time to do that. In fact, none of these people have anything that I particularly want, except for France. France has uh, three provinces, and we're also in the same coalition war with Bamanis and Khmer, and Brunei and Majapahit. Now, the problem with that is, <clears throat> why would I fight the entirety of Europe when I don't need to? I don't need to fight these people. The only thing, like, there's three provinces here that I want from France. So there is absolutely no reason for me to go fight France. In fact, let me just put this music off for a bit and turn the game music back on. I need to, uh, I need to do my sound. <clears throat> Makes no sense, so you will lose. Oh, but no, Tvalky. I won't lose. I'm doing a tactical retreat. I'm going to offer a, a peace deal to France. Uh, something I've already set up for you guys, so you, you won't need to wait. I am going to give them... Or at least, I'm going to give up the overlordship of Brunswick. Brunswick has no naval supplies. I am going to give Haino back to Haino. It's not even the trade note I want. It's a filthy piece of land we got by accident some, some time in the past. And uh, you know what? You know, the Russians, the Russians are kind of disgusting. So I think I'll give them back some of their land. Tavir, Muscovy, Yaroslav, and Sustal. All of those are filthily worthless grain, and it doesn't look particularly aesthetic on the map for me to own those provinces, so, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and give them their land back. In fact, let me do that a little differently, because I, I just noticed that I'm giving them a fort back, which, you know, that is not how we roll, so let me just go find Tavir, and uh, get Tavir out of this peace deal. Where is Tavir? And instead, give them, uh, what is it, Kostrom? No, or Kostrom is a fort as well, isn't it? No, Kostrom is not a fort. So if we can go over to the K, because I did sort these by name, all of these provinces are uh, Russian, so. Ah, oh, that is 99, that is quite unfortunate. Komi is not exactly a coastal province, but I, I think it counts like a coastal province. What about Velugda? Now, that's not going to look aesthetic on the map at all. What's this province called? Ustjev? T, 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 Ustjev. 
That's not really gonna look too pretty, is it? Well, you know, sometimes you have to pick functionality over aesthetics, you know? I, you don't know exactly how this is gonna look, because I can't exactly see, but more or less, it's gonna look alright. So, we're going to give them this, and uh, none of this land has any naval supplies, I'm just gonna check, check, double check, triple check this shit, if you don't mind. And after making this deal, we'll have a truce with everyone in the coalition until 1825. 1825, which means they cannot, they cannot declare war on me until 1825, which is the end of the game. Of course, I can declare war on them, uh, the only difference it makes is that I have to pay stab, and then I'd be able to, uh, to go fight them. Now, this is gonna cost me uh, almost all of my prestige, which is, you know, kinda sad, but nothing that can be really be done about that. So, you know, we're just gonna have to settle for this. And I think we'll do that. Let me just pick up my rule book here because I did stream a little later than I said I would because I was preparing this. Yes, this is fine. Let's go ahead and uh, send that offer. So now we're at peace with the coalition, and uh, we could dial France for their final three provinces in a month. Don't need to worry about any of this crap, because we're now at peace. So. Okay, let me just uh, tell one of these armies, because they were kind of doing some weird stuff. One of these armies is going to go over and deal with those, and then he's going to march back. You're also going to go over there. And that other army is going to sit in somewhere where I can supply this army, in Ghent, and prepare for the invasion of uh, France. Now, if we dial France right now, Poland and Portugal would join, so we need to have an army on the border with both Poland and Portugal. Now, we just so happen to have that right here. So you're going to have to go over there, and one of these is going to have to go over there. Okay, so after piecing out France, we're going to Dao Sint. Sint we do not have a truce with. They could join into a coalition against us, but uh, you know what? They won't, because every single person that in the world I've got a truce with until more or less the end of the game. So we're going to Dao Sint, and... Then we're going to Dao Khmer and set the Manis as a co-belligerent. Uh, Khmer says it's in the coalition, but it's not really. They're gonna leave uh, next month. I mean, they can't literally be in the coalition because I've got a truce with them, right? So we're going to Dao Khmer, set the Manis as a co-belligerent. That's going to put me at war with uh, Khmer and Bamanis. Bamanis isn't, his coastline isn't more than 100%, neither is Khmer, so that's a check. And then we're going to Dao France and fight them. That's going to give me negative three stab, a negative two stab because we've got diplomatic ideas. So we can immediately, a month after that, Dao Pegu. Pegu has two coastal provinces and they're allied with some people but I don't really care so that would be Pegu down that's gonna give me a, a negative three now we stab up once and we dow Brunei that's also going to put me at negative three and then we're going to uh, wait one month, stab up again, fight Major Pahit. That's one plus one stab. 
Plus two stab. And then we'll have we'll be at war once again with all of our targets, but we don't need to fight the entirety of Europe. At the cost of two stab and a couple of random Russian provinces that we don't really care about. And after Dowing Majib Bahit will be at negative three, so we're going to stab up four times again. But that's okay because uh you know. Who even gives a shit? Now we're going to wait with this operation until April or maybe June next year. That's when we're going to be declaring all of these wars because that's when most of my cores finish. It's going to make this a whole lot cheaper and uh, well not just that, it's going to be real cheap because it's it's, you know, it's just gonna be super fucking cheap, right? We don't need to worry about coring any of our provinces because we don't need to core the Norwegian wood provinces to get that the achievement. And we don't need to core all of the coastal provinces to get our self created gold medal. So, without further ado, Let's get this shit on the road. I need this army to stay right where it is. Also, with all of these people pieced out, they won't uh, stop these scores from finishing. And those are going to be finished in July next year. So, also, fun little, uh, fun little detour right here. You going to get that Delhi province? Oh, you can bet your ass I'm going to. Fun little detour. We have a lot of uh, inside thingy. We have a lot of these guys available now. That uh, one of them is going to stay here to stomp rebels, but this army, this army can go home just fine. So we're going to be putting them in pile and bang. We'll have a total of uh, oh, I don't know, fucking a uh, whole oh, fuckload of regiments that are going to land in Delhi. These close to Delhi and go help out with those. This army, this fleet, is going into Kendal and they're going to island hop these people around so that we can stop the rebels. Now, speaking about stopping rebels, let's play at speed two because f uh, we can't make any mistakes right now. Okay, so hold the phone here. I need to unseat a whole bunch of my crap, so that's not gonna work. <clears throat> no, no, you, you silly bastard. So you'll be like 500% overextended. Something like that. Something around that area. I don't know exactly though. We're gonna have to time that a little bit. Because uh, we do are we we are coring the provinces that we're overextended with right now. So you know we could potentially just not do any of that hardcore overextension shenanigans. There is no need for that. I do believe we're building up a second fleet, which we really need to get these European troops out of here. So fighting France and uh, winning that should be uh, more or less a priority. Because I've got a hundred, uh, more or less uh, 250,000 men that aren't doing anything right now in Europe and that should be doing something in Asia. Because if we bring our full might over to Ming, that war shouldn't last longer than three years. And we've established before that we can 100% Ming in one war. Well, 100% the provinces we need. It's going to give us 232 progressive expa I mean, overextension, so we want to do that near the end, not at the start. Because if we do that, if we piece them out right now, and I'd have to sit at 232% overextension, that'd be uncomfortable. So, But you can get Crimea 1850. That is true. That is true. 1816, in fact.
Okay. Just finding my bearings here. People wanting military accesses, I'm gonna say no because I don't want to uh, risk me suddenly having to deal with that. Lothian getting rebel sentiment. Uh, let me just find the provinces that have that. There you go. And this uh, this message can go ahead and go fuck itself. I'm not going to click that because if you click that, another one can spawn. Yeah, I don't really want another one to spawn. I just really don't. Day has passed. Sieging of Delhi. And let's go deal with the rebels. In the archipelago of Indonesia. Have I considered Siberian tribes? No, I have not, but I doubt they'll be a problem. The development in Malakia? About a hundred. I need to know where Bela and Kvalar are. Bela? Okay, so that's right there. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Did we raise autonomy in these provinces? We did not, and we should have. Because these provinces are worthless anyway. Too bad you can't sort this by unrest. You know, I'd like to. And now we still haven't uh, done this on all provinces with unrest. Uh, because some of them have zero and they, they have revolt risk, but I can't check. I think. I mean, I can't imagine there not being any unrest here right now. Oh, but there's not. Okay. Now then, together with that guy, we should be fine for now. Okay. That seems more or less sorted.
Mm, yeah, can't do that there. And this entire area is gonna be crap for days anyway, so... <laughs> Okay, let's get the second army on the go and uh, tell him to head on over to uh, Bela. That would be the shortest path into Delhi land. Actually, I've got a much better idea. Why don't we land in La Na? No, wait, that will put us right next to Ming. No, we'll do Delhi first, and then we'll do La Na, and then we'll do Bengal. That makes sense. When are you going to arrive? 23rd of May. Uh, no thank you, Spain. I will get that thing back, though. This Boaz, what is that? That's a Patrick. Alright, Patrick, that's nice, but uh, I'm gonna need to ask you to stop doing that. <laughs> Twenty fifth. Night twenty third of May. Let's go fight these the thirtieth. Sixth of June. No, fuck, my theologian died. Well, that's okay, we can get the staff cost guy. Nineteenth of October. Seems about right. Let's clean this place up for a second, because all these ships are kind of disgusting. Wasn't there revolt risk here too? In Treviso and Verona? In Friuli apparently. No, there's just standard revolt risk there. That's quite alright. Land straight on top of them. They're going to arrive the 9th of July. Okay. I'm playing the slowest I've played ever. So you gotta bear with me here, but once again, that gold medal will be mine. Sixteenth 
So this happened to me yesterday while I was getting the Sweden is not overpowered thing. <laughs> yes, that happens. That that does in fact happen. Okay, 6th of June. This guy should be ready to move. Uh, yes. When are you going to arrive in Max? 27th of June. Wow. Taking your sweet ass time, dog. Too bad we no longer have access to this guy. Kinda sad. And that is why we shall peace people out at the same time, at the moment supreme. Moment supreme. Oui, oui, très bien. Oh, oui, oui. 26th of June. So it's been two days since our troops landed here. So it shouldn't take that long until we can take that out. Lapland, Novgorod, Masava, and Dofar. Brinsvig is going to take care of those, I can already tell. So we need splitting up. And Bengal's being a good boy and taking care of my rebels for me. Pick up all these guys and get ready to go to war. I believe, do believe there was a second navy coming in, yes. But you're not going to land straight on there, you're going to land in Chachabar. There we go. Let's just, since we've got an army over here doing nothing, I may as well tell them to go help out. And then this army can just do that. And I'll put the fleet in Sinai so they can move out straight away. Let's get the navy out in the open so that we can keep moving. And swoop back over to France. Sure. If that trade event doesn't fire, what do? Oh, I don't know. Stop the subsidies on Crimea? Oh, 
I've got full confidence in the trade event firing, though. As if I didn't, I totally told my troops to attach to that fleet. That is, uh, kinda sad. Now, Doma, you arrive 13th of August. Have something for that army to do. Do have to tell him to uh, march back though. March. Oh shit, this is a fort. Well, we're gonna have to siege that down. They were really fast on that one. I'm quite surprised. using everything by boat that we can to make sure that our uh, troops move as fast as humanly possible. These two cannons are going to unseat whatever the, the rebels siege up. Should be well and good. Crimea still hasn't cored all his crap. Oh, he has. He did core all of his crap. He is... <clears throat> well, <clears throat> he is coring everything. Watch with all the subsidies I'm giving him. Okay, that is brilliant. Oh, that is very good. How much over... He's not even over 100 anymore. You know, I was surprised at the, the lack of rebels in Crimea. So I, I was already thinking like, hmm... Shouldn't take too long before they spawn again, but apparently, uh, apparently they fix themselves. Wow, that is very good. Very happy about that. This is a very fortunate chain of events. When are you going to arrive? Twenty-eighth of September. All right. Well, we get another one of these. Oh God. Don't care about those. Maybe build more mercs? Oh, I would if I could, but there's... Um, I think it's better to let them build up a little bit. And then I'll just hire the infantry mercs. For some reason that feels like it's faster. It doesn't really matter like, right now, anyways. Well, there was a rebel spawn. I don't know where. I couldn't really see it happen, so... I'm assuming it was in these Mamlukian provinces, they just got reinforcements or some bullshit. It looks like my uh, Operation Super Saiyan Vassal is sieging up one of the provinces that was uh, being occupied by rebel scum. And Bengal's doing their part to save my ass. That's very nice.
Those Mercurians are definitely uh, Ottoman, though. So how about you fuck off with those? Hmm? Oh wow, that doesn't work. Oh god. see if we can siege down this so that this army can go into Congo yes Now we've got way, way, way too many cannons there and way too little infantry. And we have it about the other way around there. So we could uh, potentially make this into a fighting force. That, that, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, yeah, Ryuku is probably going to be the next campaign. Also, I completely forgot about these beautiful people. Uh... Well, the looks like the Brunswickians were right on point there. Okay. Battle of Dresden. Since it looks like that Russian army is going to be busy for some time, I'm going to send these up instead. And you guys, you can like troll around somewhere. I mean, it's all right. You can sit in Oster, but how is that Permian army doing? It's doing all right. And Shrekt. Now I do want 10,000 of these cannons. Or more like 11,000 to go accompany this. And then something like that is going to go over there. And the big stack is going to go over there, and so are you. Get that to be remotely useful. Okay, so we have two provinces over here that need unseaging. Let's leave cannons by to do the work for us. And the rest can march back. This province is Tidor, so they should arrive on the 25th. No, on the 30th, my bad. Ninth of November, you gotta remember that date. Ah, fuck me, the Chinese are coming.
Okay. Well, since this army isn't doing anything and the Chinese are stopping me from finishing some of my cores. Okay. Kaffa. Najd. Nothing we can't deal with, I say. Yeah, it looks like those are going to be holed up for some time, though. Sadly. And you're going to Scotland first. I don't want to have that go out of control. Now this Ming fleet is going into the Gulf of Cadiz. We're going to chase that fleet down with my trading fleet. Because that is disgusting. And then I'll definitely send this fleet over to Congo, don't worry. Extra musketeers, always a good thing to have. I don't know why you feel like you have to go there. Makes no sense. Probably because I told him to, but... Okay, and then you are definitely going into combo. There you go. And this fleet without the stupid heavy. And without the silly transports. Is going to chase after the main fleet. But we're going to wait until they start unloading their troops because they will try to unload troops. If they don't, if they weren't transporting troops, we would have. Uh, they would have attacked and sunk my transport fleet. But because we were both transporting troops, the game is like, let's not fight. So you know that's that's kind of weird. But that is that is how it works. At least that is how it used to work, and I'm assuming he's transporting a whole bunch of troops. Now, navies in the 1.13 patch tend to retreat. Well, they always retreat if they're going to lose, and they know they're going to lose because they could, they got super fast calculations, right? So, if he's going to lose, he's not going to do battle, but if he's unloading troops, he cannot retreat. That is just fucking stupid. Alright, let's leave a cannon behind, get our guys back on the boat, and get ready to hop on and kill those. Fucking Marlboro cigarettes, fucking disgusting. Okay.
You're actually gonna go over there. Leave a cannon behind, hop on the boat. 21st of December. Yes, baby face. Yeah, I should also try to do something useful with my life instead of playing this game all the time, but hey. Who's counting? I do believe I lost that Chinese fleet, but it shouldn't be too far from here. Now, um, he's using heavies and transport ships. And heavies and transport ships have a speed of 5, light ships have a speed of 10, so my fleet is literally twice as fast as his. So if we just follow the same pathing that he's taken, we should catch him. either in this province or in the next but we're gonna catch him in this province which I didn't want to because now he's going to retreat so we're gonna have to be the ones that retreat here no thank you so first of January we can retreat but it looks like they beat me to it Still going to Land's End, apparently. Really, you're gonna give me English? Oh, my God. You know, that, that is quite disgusting. I'm, I'm not sure what to say there. You're gonna give me English separatist? Nation that has been... So loyal. Yeah, no, that was my bad. I said I was going to let him unland troops. And then I totally didn't li let him un unload troops. It's no biggie, though, because we've got enough men to stop, uh, stop any of this from happening. Looks like the Brunswickians took care of my rebels down there, so these can finally go into Ghent. That seems to be going fine. When will you arrive in Congo? 25th of June. That's a long time away. That's a long time away. Oh god, really? More of those filthy fucking rebels. Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. Another 2,000 ducats to feed the war chest with. Nice hat, Captain. Thank you, sir. Okay. The troops have landed. leave a cannon behind and hop back onto the boat and then we'll send them uh, over to Malacca or what used to be Malacca and they spawn a new army while we're still kicking the first one in the face that is uh, that you know that's yeah, that's just that's just quite beautiful and we just finished scoring a whole bunch of provinces we are still over 100% but only for a very short period of time
And we can still get the fuck out of there. Good. Cannons did not get uh, punched in the face. Persia would give me access so we can kill these rebels, otherwise they're just going to uh, <clears throat> take this land and then come back later, just like these. These are super annoying because they're staying in uh, in Mamluk territory. I mean, in Ottoman territory, so I can't exactly stop them. You're gonna make a small detour and land right there. I am not going to catch these beautiful people here, so we're just going to have to do this. That's fine. You can march straight on top of that. <clears throat> Rebels over here have been taken care of. Maybe we can uh, do something over here. No, Ming is determined on losing all of his men in the Siberian Peninsula. I mean, uh, Plateau. That's nice. Oh my god, what a mess! Chief, fail! No! Fuck you! It's not even close to being a mess, holy shit! <laughs> this is all very nice and orderly. I will get back my gold medal. This is all according to my plan. Oh, man. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe anything that happened... What did the coalition... Oh, I, uh... I offered them a peace deal that they couldn't refuse. <laughs> good morning, sir. How are the lands of Netherlands today? Good, good. The lands of Nether. <laughs> that sounds incredibly evil. I don't know why exactly, but... I'm pretty sure I raised autonomy there. Or maybe that was the only province where I didn't raise autonomy. Yeah, that could be a thing. Well, not to worry, though. Can tell, uh, tell that Polish army to go deal with those. Now, you honestly, well, whatever, I'm just going to, I'm just going to not say anything, yeah. Perfect timing. Just a couple more. Getting into Masawa, that's good. Yeah, that's gonna be the last of those events. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the last of those events. So that army is going to be holed up there for some time. There is just nothing yeah, I can do about that. There's going to be there, and that's going to be that. I'm 
We can pick up the guys from the Mac along the way. That's fine. Navy into Dogger Bank so we can immediately uh, tell them to go do something else again. Kotla has been taken care of. Bring the, these guys back over to Antwerp to prepare for the war against France. of April. When is that? Uh... Let's get those out into the ocean so we can pick those up, those guys up just a couple days faster. When is this fleet going to arrive? 8th of May. Okay. That is fine. Cannons bind, and we're gonna move straight into Kotla. Ah, figured when they'd come back someday. Didn't know exactly when, but the fact that they were gonna come back, that we knew. Where is uh, Panay? And there was another one. Visayas. There you go. You arrive 15th of June, okay. Oh, let's not make any swimming soldiers on accident. Uh. Right. That seems to be fine. So there's that. Since we have a little bit more time on our hands, we may as well send this army into Ghent and uh, have them take care of the Egyptian rebels. Because this guy seems to be busy for some time. Kind of preoccupied, as it were. Whereas these. 
have to go say hi to the Maldives. I am not speaking a whole lot today because I am trying to concentrate on the game. So, you gotta bear with me for a second here. So unfortunate. Since we're right there, we may as well take care of those. And we just finished scoring something, I think. Yes, we did, but it wasn't quite enough to get out of 100%. That did it, though. Okay, we are no longer at over 100% over extension. Where's my book? Thou sinned. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to Thou sinned first. See, the logic behind Thou and sinned first is that if I Thou sinned, I don't need to, uh... If I, if I declare sinned, I don't need to stab up. That. But I can wait with Dowing Sin until I, I need to fight Sin. So, like, Dowing Sin is like not really a priority right now. I, I don't see the point in Dowing Sin right now. That's just not necessary. So, so I'm not really sure about Dowing Sind. Dowing France, though, now that is something I really want to do. But I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this army in uh, Ghent, and we're gonna take care of these, because so otherwise it's going to take too long. And then after beating these rebels, we'll put these back in there. We're going to wait until this army comes back, which it's going to take some time to do that. Let's wait until the 11th. As I do want my armies in proper position to go fight France. Because, I mean, the French military isn't that good right now. But 2nd of October... I think it's worth waiting for that. For those cores to finish. Is boosting stab right now? Okay, so it's plus 50%, right? So it would be, uh, would be 1, 110. We need to stab up a grand total of 6 times. You know what, if we still want to core something, we're gonna have to wait until November to declare our set of wars. So, I think we'll uh, make sure that our troops are in position, and then we're going to Dao people. But it makes no sense to Dao Sin straight away, like, why would I Dao Sin right now? What was I thinking for? Was I afraid that they might join a coalition? No, that's impossible, they don't have any aggressive expansion. So there is literally no reason for me to uh, peace out Sin right now. Like, literally. No. I mean to fight Sin right now. So apparently Malwa is in here. Malwa is a coastal province. I could certainly doubt Malwa. Of course that would bring Corazan in so that we would make things a little complicated. Just the, just a dad. Doesn't really make any, any sense. No, I think, uh, I think what we'll do, yeah, we'll wait until November. And then I'm gonna need to declare war on a whole bunch of people, so let me make sure that I've got my guys at the ready. My diplomats. 
Because granted, I can only declare a war once every month, but all of these countries are more than a month travel time away, so I'm gonna want all of my diplomats at the at the ready so that they can do whatever they need to do. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna wait for these two. That's just too long. We'll declare war in November. We're gonna have to pay a little bit of extra admin for that, but uh, really, who gives a shit about admin, right? Right. Let's get it on. Rosetta. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Alright, 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 alright. Everything going fine. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Can I peace out Delhi? Nope. I can't. I need some Delhi provinces. So, well, yeah, I could peace out Delhi. But... And uh, this time it was gonna arrive in November, right? Yeah, so, uh, of October. So we don't need to uh, we don't need to use force march in order to stay on schedule. Speaking about schedule, these troops aren't doing anything, so we may as well just send them over to Poland. Whew. Yeah, right. All of the rebels in Indonesia have been taken care of. There's literally nothing that can stop me there. This fleet is going to the Maldives and they're going to arrive on the 19th of August. When are you going to arrive? 4th of October. Okay, so since they're going to arrive on the 4th of October, we're going to try to declare war in November. We're probably going to fight France from the bottom to the top because I want all of my troops at the same side because otherwise it's awkward. Right? Right. Makes sense. That certainly makes sense. Okay, here we go. I think this will be the hardest thing Floyd's ever done. I... Uh, yeah. Yes, yes it would. The last final years are probably really frick those... Oh my god. It's certainly going to be the most complicated endgame, I can tell you that much. If we succeed, man, I'm going to fucking eat a cow. I, I don't know what, what, what I was going to... I don't... I, I can't speak. <laughs> nice chat. Terribly sorry. Speaking is a bit difficult right now. Yes, this seems fine. No, wait. Thirteenth, it's land in Tlemcen. Get these out. Get you into Oja, although Oja should unsiege itself. Because we, you know, we've got the fort and everything. Of course it's not going to, because fuck you, Flory, that's why, but it should. <laughs> Doesn't change the fact that it should. Where's Zen Flory? Oh, Zen Flory needs to go fuck himself. There is no time for Zenness. Sadly. Now, am I ballsy enough to move this army away? I think not. Um, I, I, I think no. No, we're not ballsy enough. Because, you know, there might just be another rebellion, and I'm going to have to squish it, and, you know, we're just going to keep that army there. This one, however, this this one might go into, uh... That army might go into Delhi as well, with the others, and then we can siege three forts in Delhi at the same time. See, and, and then we're getting somewhere. Mm. 
Okay. What about Japan? Oh, Japan! We can siege Japan up in a year. Don't worry. Japan is a is a non-issue. Don't tell any Japanese I said that. But right now, Japan is the equivalent of one of those uh, Siberian natives. I mean, honestly, it don't matter. No. It may not look like it because I'm oh like I'm at the edge of winning every battle in every theater. But uh, I still have half a million men, ladies and gentlemen. I still have about half a million men, so yeah, half a million men. I can. It's not a big problem. Don't worry. Fifty-eight stack is gonna land right there. Finally moving into combo. Holy shit, that was a long time coming. February 2014, are you coring your final provinces? Oh my god, he is! Okay, so we're not going to get any overextension. Oh, yes, that is his final... No, still, shit, he needs two more. He needs two more provinces cored, and they're pretty big, too. So I don't know if he'll core those. So we'll so we'll get a little tinsy-wincy bit of overextension off of him. But, you know, who, who's counting? That's not... Okay. This is the... This is, uh... The turn of the tide, as they say. As they say. I feel like this is very good. We should probably do that. Also, how is uh, how are the Ming Ming doing? <clears throat> yeah, this is their entire military, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Behold, the Ming military of old. Now, if I had built forts here, if I had built forts here, he'd be so dead right now. I wonder what his manpower is. Oh well. He, uh, keep in mind, this guy hasn't been fighting a war until, I mean, for so long. Like, he's not been doing anything. And he's only got 100k left. This is just fucking hilarious. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like half a million before. So he's lost all, he's almost lost half a million men in, uh, in Siberia already. It's just plain retarded. Just me. But, who oh, am I to doubt the AI? At least their countries are stable. <clears throat> okay, and then I need navies in Europe so that we can uh, bring those armies over once the French war is over. And that, my friends, is when we're really going to start to get the shit done. Okay, so it is October, we're only 53%. There's still a couple more that are almost ready to finish, though. So, and uh, this this guy still needs to be moved into uh, into France. So is that guy, but you know. Of course, we could declare the French war before our troops are completely at the ready. We don't need to have them like completely there. It's not exactly necessary. I do hope, hope we can finish this siege before uh, th this thing finishes. I'm pretty sure that is up what's gonna happen.
I lose Papal Influence so fast that that is literally the only thing I can do with those points right now. Just spend them as they come. Yeah, I do hope I finish this siege before he finishes that thing, and then we can move on to Central Duab. Yes! Alright, perfect. Hold the phone here. This army will work. Got no infantry in here. I'm only going to lose more men if I uh, tell that army to start doing something. That is unfortunate indeed. I don't know if we'll lose any men. Uh, he's losing ships. He's losing ships fast. He's not landing them. Which means he landed them already. I don't know where, though. Ah, in Vinland. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Bengal. But, uh, you know, I've, I still have nine spare transport ships. So even if, if we lose a couple, that's not going to be a problem. I'm just going to let that battle uh, run its course. You can join up with those, and these ones can uh, move up in the world. Got some more Crimeans coming right there. What flag mod is this, Flory Worry? It's called the T-Bar W mod. When are you going to arrive? 29th of January. Oh my fucking god. Well, we'll wait for that then. I mean, if I can't immediately start sieging France, then what would be the point of declaring the war first? Makes uh, very little sense to me. Oh, what is this? Oh, I was about to say. We're close, though. We're so close to getting positive manpower. Sin, you don't want to give me access? It would be kind of weird since I'm at war with uh, your rival. So you should, you should probably give me access. There you go. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can siege up, but we can certainly siege that up. It's also quite desolate. I mean, remote. So, you know. There's almost only cannons in here, but that's quite alright. I don't foresee that to be a problem at all.
Okay, so we've got about 100,000 men. I doubt France can even match that. Well, they can, but mine are better. Although, that is very much to question, considering, you know, that number right there. Okay, so fine. I'll move my troops into Cal. Kind of unfortunate, but nothing that can be done there. And as if on cue, I remembered that I was sending an army over to Congo. Pretty good stuff. Let's get you back. Yeah, my troops would be better if we had 100 prestige, but we had to give up all of our prestige to, uh, to piece out the coalition. So, you know, that's kind of sad. I think we'll catch them then, if we do this. And you know what, I'm just gonna risk it. I'm just gonna land these troops straight in here and go fight Delhi with those, and then fight Bengal after. Collapsing to rebels, what are you talking about? I've, I've only got uh, five active uh, thingies. And apparently some peasants down here. That's okay though. This army can take care of that just fine. These, this, this army right here killed so many Africans, it is insane. I, you'd think they'd be, oh my god, that, that army is filled with all the skin ads in, in, in my country. I mean, that is just sick. So many dead Africans, that is just fucking disgusting. If they ever come back to Norway, I'm gonna hang them. Yeah, I'm kind of torn between hanging them. Well, you know. No, I, I, I don't want them in Norway. They, they can stay right where they are. I mean, they're disgusting animals, but... Yeah. They, I mean, they did do what they were told, I suppose. Uh, Ming sieging up the Philippines. I don't care. I've got that entire area cord. In fact, if I don't have that entire area cord, it doesn't matter since uh, none of that is... Um, yo. You're a bot. Um, it doesn't matter since that doesn't give over extension, so I don't. I really don't give a shit. Yes, together with those, the the, the French war should be a breeze. We only need three provinces of France, which, you know, that, that, that given fact, that really sucks because look at how many troops I need and how much time it takes to put them into place for, for this French war, even though I don't want anything off of France, but, you know, we have to fight this, so. Can you uh, quickly move to Ghent? Can you do that for me, Batman? I mean, Kent. I don't know why I said Ghent. They're ready right now to go for round two versus France. We dismantled the coalition. None of them can declare war on me until 1825, which is the end of the game. So, you know, as I said, very good stuff. We only had to give them a couple of Russian provinces and our disloyal vassal, which, uh, you know, Brunswick didn't give us anything. I believe they gave us five tax income because uh, income from vassals, five. 
five full dockets a month, which, you know, in, a, in an economy the size of the... Uh, 764, that's not really... Not really my jive, right? So, anyway, we can go ahead and fight France now. I'm uh, more than happy about that. So let's not send them a gift. Don't want to be doing any of that. I'm just going to be declaring war on France. It's going to give me negative three stab. And then we need Dal Brunei, Masha Pahit, and Pegu straight after. So. He doesn't even have that many forts as it is. Maybe I can tell him to like march down. I don't know if that will be very efficient though. Alright, and so then within a day. You gotta remember, 28th of May, that is a big date, because 28th of May is when we can declare war on someone else again. Not forget to keep building infantry marks. You motherfucker. You mother trucker. I missed him because he walked round. Wow. I ain't even mad. That's amazing. Yeah, Portugal joined, but who really gives a shit about Portugal? And we get the next problem up our line. Although, you know, revolution and aspiration for liberty would be amazing events. Because if you give in to those, if they succeed, say, okay, so if, say, aspiration for liberty happens, and they siege up my capital, and they enforce their demands, I get all of the revolutionaries. So I'd get 990, up to my force limit. So I'd get 919 amounts, uh, 919 regiments. With all of their generals and uh, all of their schnaz. Also, plus three uh, stab, I believe. So, you know, very good shit. Also, it's starting to rain, so I'm thinking about closing my window. But as long as it's not raining inside, okay? It, it, it seems to not be raining inside. 29th of May, ladies and gentlemen. Let's stay focused here. Okay, so he does have a little bit more guys coming in. We need to hurry the fuck up and force march our way into that battle. Because once again, we have no prestige, so... Don't know if we can beat that. With uh, the troops that we have right now. Especially not with our prestige being shit as it is. But we've got reinforcements coming in, so that should be fine. I would very much like to win that battle, though. And looks like it's completely even. Which is very funny considering my prestige. But yeah, then if it's completely even, these guys will completely uh, wreck him. Yes, okay, France is wrecked. Poland managed to dodge my army somehow. He's going to Bessarabia and then we'll go into there. Hey Jess, would you be willing to give me military access? Beautiful. 11th of June. Well, let's hope we catch those guys. Those guys are going to want to enter my my territory, and I can't leave this army. I can send. I can't send that army somewhere else. Because I need them here to clear those guys out. Otherwise, I, it's not gonna happen, right? Okay. Yeah, so the French are dying, they've lost half their army already. Sieged up another fort. But 
it's too bad that I had this army down here already, so. Sucks to be those guys. Oh, uh, we missed 29th of May because we're dumbasses. So, anyway, next up would be Majapahit. Imperialism, certainly. That's going to put me at negative three. We're going to stab up once. It's not going to be that expensive. Brunei, and then Khmer, and then set Bamanis as a co belligerent. Yes, that seems to be fine. That seems to be fine. Are we going to catch these? We are. And we finished a siege, but we've already told our guys to go siege something else. Perfect. Yeah. Now let's see if we can't piece out Delhi. Ah, oh, you cannot take this because I cannot make it into a core. I say, so that is some bullshit mechanics right there. Cannot take province because cannot make into a core. So shit. <laughs> oh my. God. So what do I have to do now then? Do I have to do I have to peace out Delhi? I think that's what we'll that what that's that is what we're forced to do here. I have to peace out Delhi. Because I can't peace out Bengal first. I can't peace out. Maybe that's why I wanted to declare war on Sindh first. Maybe that's why I wanted to declare that Sindh war first. But that would be so stupid. Because then I need to take way more provinces. So. Oh, that is. Okay. Okay, now, now that, ladies and gentlemen, that is unfortunate. So, okay. okay. Well, that's another truce break. It's not that bad. It's only one more stabbing. Oh, but that, that, okay. That is, uh... No, that's quite unfortunate. I'll take all his money, and we're just, we're just gonna have to uh, dial them. Oh, that is really shit. It's also apparently going to uh, do that to my units. Exile them. Oh yes, most unfortunate. <sighs> hey, well, what was next? Brunei? 2nd of July. Pay attention to France. Why am I playing on speed 3? Do I have a death wish? Oh. See, I wouldn't have dared doing this at 175% overextension, so I'm pretty happy that we decided to wait.
Now we're really gonna have to siege up Lana. And since the entire Ming army is still in Siberia, we may as well the send just a hundred thousand men into Lana. Start fighting him. And then we can just march into Bengal after that. That's that's fine. That is really unfortunate though, that was a miscalculation on my part. I didn't I didn't think that uh that 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 a lot that that will be a thing, but apparently it was. So, oh well. All right, third of July, Brunei. It's been nice knowing you, man. And stab up. Second of August. Bumani's and set. Khmer as a co-belligerent. Let's kill these first, then you can go deal with those, and then you can siege up the rest of Poland's forts. Fourth of August, okay. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, you wanna give me <clears throat> wanna give me access, dude? And yeah, you better, I'm fighting France for you, man. Fighting France for you. Okay. more or less a working army. Let's go ahead and bring them over to Lana. I got a hundred thousand men that are looking for some naval supplies. And then I suppose the rest could go fight Sind. I mean, we're right there. No, no, no. Bumanis and then set Kamara as a couple of Although, if I do that... How many provinces am I going to ask off of Khmer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, so it really makes no fucking difference. Oh, shit, Khmer will not be considered a Cobal Agent. Okay, so let's count war score costs then. Three, four, seven, seven, five. I need a pen and paper for this. I don't usually do this, but when it's this close, you know, I can't afford to make any mistakes here. Three, four, five, six. 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 Nine. Three. 
eight, seven, six. Oh God! No, uh, this is more than fifty percent. This is more than fifty percent. Oh boy, this is more than fifty percent. There is no way. This is totally more than fifty percent. I would be interested to know exactly how much it would be. And the money is certainly going to be uh, more than 50%. Those provinces are pretty expensive. They're, that's probably going to be like a 70% peace deal. Yeah, no, this is more than... Uh, let's see, this is 10... 20... 30... Yeah, no, that's more than, uh, that's more than 50%. Isn't gonna work. So I'm either going to have to quickly separate piece them. But then who would I quickly separate piece? Would I quickly separate piece Bamanis or would I quickly separate piece Khmer? Actually, no. Wait a minute. If I declare war on Bamanis right now, I can't set Khmer as a co-belligerent. Khmer is going to join. We're going to 100% Khmer. We're going to take 50% of the provinces off of Khmer. Then we're going to fight Mong Yang. No, that would be retarded as balls. We can't do that because we need to piece all of these people out in, in, in at the same time. So, no. We're just going to have to fight Bamanis. Then at least the only one we'll be fighting is Khmer. We need to separate piece Khmer real fast, and then we need to fight them again in a separate war. Yeah. I'm afraid that that's the only way, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. Let's see here. Unless for some magical reason Khmer doesn't join, which of course they're going to join. Yes, they join just right now. So, no, not really a possibility. Let me just get my chat back. We need to fight Pegu. We need to Dao Pegu, and that's the last one we're going to Truce Break right now. For now, I mean, we're going to Truce Break Khmer again, but for now, we're just gonna fight uh, that guy. Like, I give a shit about Cuban nationalists. I mean, uh, peasants. I do give a shit about nationalists. I always give a shit about nationalists. Not giving a shit about nationalists is, uh, pretty stupid. And did you randomly cancel access? No. Then why can I not walk through your fucking cocksucking land? Thank you. Holy f Okay, because Malwa. Well, you can start walking anyway. And then how about you walk like this? And you walk along the coast, hmm? How, how about them apples? How do you like them apples, hmm? Game? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Alright. Keep paying attention to France. 12th of September is when we're gonna dow someone else again. Malwa. It's been nice knowing you. Who you allied with? Corazon. Well... Oh, we need to be above... Uh, Two stab. Didn't I dial on the fourteenth? Also, we need to dial Delhi again.
No, let's not dial that guy, because we're... Our t units will get exiled again. Well, no, they're all... They're gonna get exiled anyway. There's nothing I can do about them getting exiled. It's a stupid fucking BS rule. But it's there, so we have to just deal with it. Oh, that is most unfortunate. These units need to go back into my land again. Uh, but wait, no, let's not dial Malwa, because Malwa we don't need to dial right now. We need to dial Pegu. So we've got a truce with Pegu. There you go. And then on the 20th of uh, next month, we're going to fight Delhi. Dial Delhi, and that's all that we're going to dial for now. So, shit, the French are coming. I uh, wasn't paying attention, and I don't know if we'll make it on time here. We might, we might not. Probably not, though. I don't know, he's, uh, he's running around pretty fast. Uh, he, he has to go into Picardy because uh, stupid paradox logic, that's why. Uh, but they're not all going to arrive at the same time. So, you know, th there is still hope. There is very much still hope. Are you sieging, unseeging your own land? No, you're not, you filthy bugger. You absolute piece of ass. 21st of October, guys. 21st of October. Yes, you're going in there. I'm going to walk back. No, wait, you're going in there, and then you're going to stay in there, because you filthy maggot, I still have wars to declare. Uh, uh... Right, can you hold on for another uh, something something days? There you go. 21st! 21st. Okay, so let's see here. Big Commerce in Delhi. Delhi, 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 Delhi. Delhi, 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 Delhi. Delhi, 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 Delhi. Delhi, 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 Delhi. Delhi, 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 Delhi. Apparently, that's going to bring in Persian, no guy. Is that the final one, though? Yes, it is. Operation Separate Peace has been a staggering success. Took her a little while, but now he can separate peace all of these motherfuckers. Ah, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Hold the fucking phone here. Oh, you are fucking kidding me right now. Oh, you are fucking kidding me right now. Oh, this is just... Oh, wow. Really? 
Bamani's was exactly 50%. No, that's no way. There's no way Bamani's was exactly 50%. Yeah, no, 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 no. But Manish is 50% uh, now, that coastline of his. That coastline of his is 50% now because I get a 75% discount. <laughs> so, no. That would not be a problem. I wonder if this guy started colonizing some more. I need to know. I need to know how many ports he still has. Cause for all I know, he's been colonizing. He, he could very well, he very well could be. Because I could just select everything in here and then unselect the provinces I don't need. And then I'll be sure that I've taken all of his coastal provinces. Because I can't, I don't see where his colonists are right now. Okay, so that's all of his provinces. Is this me demand their full annexation? It is. Oh wow, I could full, I could almost full annex France. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay, so one of them is going to Zuni. Yeah, I don't know where his final colonist is going. Because I'm pretty sure he, ha he, he must have more than one colonist, right? D doesn't he pick exploration ideas? Yes, and he's finished it. So he has two colonists. Right? You got two colonists from exploration, right? Right, so he's got one more colonist that he's sending off somewhere, and I don't know where, and that is bugging me, because if I don't know where that fucking cocksucking guy is, one of them is going over here. Certainly. This is uh, Louis de la Motte d'Iran. That's so, so, so French. Can't even begin to fathom how French that is. That is like super French. So then his other colonist should be somewhere over here. It, it almost has to be. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself some coffee because uh, hard and. Uh, I have a smoke, and I'll see you guys in about five minutes.
Wow, unreal. My gosh, this is amazing. I feel incredible. Yes, 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 I can win. I can drink. I can do this. Ah, what are I, you doing? Uh, nothing. Really? Because it looked like you were chanting to yourself. Are you in my head? Yep, don't worry. Supposedly I should fade away into your subconscious. Sooner or later. Okay, so what now? By my estimate, this fusion should have given you just enough power to wipe out the bastard who killed our people. And? Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. You can win! You feel great! You can do this! Oh, ha ha! <laughs> Activity! Oh, no. 
Down my face, on my hair, on my shirt She looks at me, and I'm looking at her One, two, three Your life is your life In some weird There's like The God <laughs> Take the light in you It meets the darkness You're marvelous Who's pretending to be who? Who's pretending to be Your life is your life The fault, the repetitions Don't let it be club and it takes a mission. You should get to the point where anyone else will quit. You're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Just do it. Nothing is impossible. Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. The more often you do it, the more like there will be. The more like there will be. Or two pages in my mouth. I start to brush. She's looking at me. I start to blush. Sometimes it feels like we fill that void between us. That void between me and child above. Paste down my face, on my hair, on my shirt. She looks at me, and I'm looking at her. I throw myself underwater, water, for pleasure. Ebb and flow, expanding the pressure. It's impossible. Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. The more often you do it, the more like there will be. Just do it. Nothing is impossible. Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. The more often you do it, the more like there will be. See the original down below and click here for the previous episode. Next Tuesday, a brand new shamanican feel sung up by the news. You can sung up by yourself too. And soon, the return of Sira. <sighs> no. I don't want to deal with uh, those revolution shit. I believe I'm subsidizing Brazil too.
Ah, uh, I still don't know where his colonists are at. So annoying. Yeah, but just barely. I was watching the stream the other day and you were like screaming like crazy. <laughs> oh yes, of course, because uh, you know, I tried to. I sort of do that on purpose. But right now, I need to think too much to uh, to be speaking and 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 such. So. Can't exactly do that right now. Ah, oh, no way, dude! Can you at least tell me when that's gonna happen? Fucking game. Holy shit. And I, I let them unseize Krakow. Which, you know, kind of unfortunate. Mark up much? I would if I had available mercenaries, but, you know, there's only the three every time, so. I'd, and there's no proper place for me to build those right now.
Suffer a bit less situation there. This province better finish now so we can go deal with the Poles and siege up this province and then Poland should be able to peace out and then we can uh, focus on France again. Don't think I didn't see you do that you fucking bastard. You fucking piece of shit. man it's like the fifth time that fucker has been on 49% you are fucking shitting me game Okay, we seized up Paris. We may not even need to... 63%! There you go, Poland! Thank me later. Hey, so that's where one of France's colonies is. I don't know what else he is colonizing. And there's no way for me to check. If he's colonizing another coastal province, I'm gonna be so sad because. Maybe he just like can't afford it, or like he just doesn't know where to put it. I'm just gonna check every single island I know. And uh, check if he's not sending his shit over there. I hate these fucking islands, man. All of them. This doesn't make any sense, he should have another colonist colonizing something. I have to find it, I have to find which one.
Okay, but that wouldn't let me find the final province. Because if he sent if he sent the colonist, then it could be like on the way and I wouldn't know. But it, it just looks like he didn't send it at all. Yeah, no, it looks like he just didn't send it. Looks like he only sent the one. I'm pretty sure he just sent the one, so that will be the only province that he has. Oh yeah. Hey, no, it's just this one. It's just this one. I mean, I, I, I've literally checked every single uncolonized province in the game, and he's not sending them there. So... I mean, that's so weird. Like, I just don't understand. Why not use the second one as well? Because he's got to... With colonial map mode, you can see it, it'll be red as you can't colonize this province. Yeah, no, I can't see it. Yeah, now that is the only thing he has. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with Europe. Once and for all. France. Well, he's going to delete his navy. In fact, he, he doesn't have a navy because he doesn't own any coastal provinces himself. <sighs> okay. Let's get our navies together. And get the show on the road. And we'll beat back the Chinese first. And then, uh, I don't know, do something. China, China, the, China, the Chinese military shouldn't be too impressive. He doesn't even have quality, so his units will die like flies. Certainly. You could shift click the money too to make it maximum click, yes, but I wouldn't be able to ask for the maximum of his maximum amount of his money. Not with 24% war score, that is.
Okay. <laughs> Apparently that brought Lana back into the war. I think that's pretty hilarious. I piece them out, I take their land, and then they're just like -la 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 -la. Oh man. That's actually really shit because that locks this army up, I think. Doesn't matter though, they seem to be very happy about running around in circles. And we've sieged it up on time. I can't core these anyway, so I may as well cancel them. And integrating Crimea! Alright, now did that give me some more overextension? It did, it gave me Theodoro, uh, Ingil, and Yadassan. Which, you know, that's unfortunate because I wanted to stab up just now. But oh well. We'll stab up next then, because otherwise we're going to get this Aspiration for Liberty bullshit. Yeah, we'll get that within at least seven years if I don't stab up now, so we're going to have to do that. Okay, see, that I cannot abide by. Although now that it's no longer on four continents, it's no longer as complicated as it was before. So I can think I can play on speed four.
Oh wow, the Ming Ming is made of carton. Oh shit, I probably should have gotten that stab cost guy. Oh well. Too bad. Please don't succeed. Yeah, that Persia army is also pretty. <laughs> the Persia army is also of some pretty high quality there. How did my prestige disappear? I uh, declared war on a coalition and beast them out in order to break it apart. So I had to give them some crap that I didn't really need. Persia, leave me alone, pretty pe please. No, not yet. One more siege. Okay, one more siege. I don't know if I can beat this. Hey, siege the bum. Persia, how about you go fuck yourself, mate?
Gamera's on medium. And I can piece him out right now. Completely forgot about this. That's really bad. Yeah, we're not going to win that. But at least we've stemmed the tide here. He's not going to progress any further into Russia. <sighs> I think I can outdance him here. I think I can now dance him there just fine. Pick up those along the way, why not? Yo, Sind, I heard you like dying. And more reinforcements to the Indian subcontinent. This bitch is mine. This is the first time to this stream, don't worry, I usually talk a lot more. It's, once again, kinda fucking complicated. <laughs> oh! Bam! There's only one song fitting enough for this. There's some severe black magic going on if 80,000 Norwegians can be 200,000 Ming in a one way street. Simply because I'm a better dancer.
<laughs> oh yes. Before Japan's come to join a coalition, I'ma quickly go declare war on them. <laughs> Cause the truce with the Ottomans just ended and they might join into a coalition against me. And then I have to fight the Ottomans as well as Japan and I don't want to do that, so we have to go declare that war just then. Yeah, they're gonna run back all the way into China with their tail between their legs. Shoo! Shoo, Chinaman, shoo! Uh, yes, Finland is being a piece of shit again. As always. Oh, this looks nice. You, seriously, you couldn't have taken that province as well? Oh my god.
Not kind of shit. Siege of No Guy. No Guy. Jeez. Gee, no guy. Ah. The small one, I don't want much. Oh, okay. The small one, I don't want much. I want Tata. Oh, shit. I have to occupy all of this land. Fuck. Did I get all the naval supplies in Siberia? Yes. Yes, I have. Ah. Stop giving me this crap game. Pegu! Oh! Awesome! Alright, Pegu! Where you at? Pegu! Well... Looks like Mong Yang is in need of a beating. How long until he will be willing to accept that deal? Not pretty fucking long. I need to kick a Yuta out. And uh, Mong Yang, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, I am 100%, 1,000 million percent sure I've gotten all the naval supplies in this. Don't worry. Trust me in this. Uh, the Chinese are uh, finally walked back. That's nice. Let's go ahead and show them, uh, show them our fist again.
Yes! Hey. Mala. Fuck, I have to occupy all of his provinces. All of Sin's provinces all along the coast, otherwise I can't ask for those. I honestly don't know what he's trying to do here. I mean... Like, I honestly don't know. Ah, oh, we just hit 46% uh, on Pegu. So maybe they'd be willing to sign a peace deal now? No, still not? Wow, what the f- 49% uh, man, oh my god, this is so stupid. Uh, at least we can peace out a Yuta. Now if we can peace out Mong Yang, that should be the end of him. And we've got the reinforcements coming in right now. Can't forget about Dash. Can't forget about Dash. So chat's gone, I'm sorry. That's the downside of being this Grand Empire too. All those tiny little OPMs can use their stupid espionage ideas to screw with you. Oh my god, Mong Yang, I will murder you in your sleep, honestly. Hey, Zhao Dun, let's Get going with Bumanis, come on. Don't have all fucking day. Now, Malwa. Still on high, we need at least 50% because it's a coalition war. Let's not forget. I'm assuming we need at least... Yeah, I wouldn't be willing to accept this deal. Cool part is, this is 55% overextension. Oh, which we can almost take. Is there something that's gonna finish soon? Oh, no. Well, we're just gonna have to ride out the storm then. Nothing that can be done. Go say hi to those before they become too big to deal with. Forty six. If we hit fifty, I'm piecing them out.
If we hit 50, I'm piecing them out. Because they're annoying as balls. We hit 59% on this guy, but I don't think Mong Yang will be willing to peace out. Nope. Bego? Wanna give me these two provinces? You fancy, fancy person? No? No, you're a real bastard, Bego. I have a reason to beast this out right now. Let me think about that. No, no, 
I, d I don't, I don't think, well, yes, kind of. Ugh. I no longer need this stupid vassal integration act, you should probably revoke that. Ugh. Oh, this guy's still Indian tech. Uh huh. So I could protectorate Delhi. I don't. I don't. I think I'm pretty sure if I protectorate him, this province counts. Although you know that will be pretty stupid. It's so dumb that you can't ask for provinces that you can't core. Holy shit! So stupid. Oh, he's got so many farts. Do you need a land connection to Delhi? Yeah, I do. I do, otherwise I can't take that province. We're so close, yet so far away. Ugh. Ugh. So close. All I need to do is win all of these wars, and then I'll have it! Ah. We are so close. Thing is, if I I have to fully occupy all of these bitches, or at least occupy them to the point where I can piece them out, and then 
not beast them out because if I piece all of these people out as soon as I can, I will succumb to over 100% rebels. So I need to make sure that I can completely occupy them, or at least occupy them to the point where they're really willing to give me what I want. And then, you know, it's just not being able to ask for this province is so annoying. This one. That is so annoying. Oh my god, that is so annoying. Because I already had Delhi half occupied, like, I already had half of Delhi occupied. So I was, like, right there. Ugh. Wait, there is one last thing I can try. This is 51.6. Do I have 49.4? Oh, this is fate. Okay. So I would be able to piece out all these people. If I were to do this. And then ask Sin to be my vassal. I'd have to ask for this beast deal. Then I would at least not have all these people in the war. Uh, and even though they're flies, they are annoying flies and they're keeping 76,000 men from doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is sieging of Delhi so we can protectorate Delhi. Which is uh, certainly what we'll be doing, I think. Because it's the only way because I'm afraid that uh, even if I do have a direct land connection into Delhi land, I won't be able to ask for this province because I'd have to core the provinces in Bengal. And I can't core the provinces in Bengal because I have to piece them out instantly. So that's not an option. So I have to do it like this. Well, that's just what we're gonna have to do. Ugh. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Ugh. Snipe to bronze, no! Uh, but I, even if I wanted to do that, I couldn't. I, I, I still have to full occupy Delhi. So. And I'd still have to send an army over to Japan. Ooh. stand for that. going up down here. I mean, up here. 
Yeah. Gotta do this real quick. Make a core tunnel throw sin into this? You mean like ask Gorwar and then we'd have to we'd be able to uh, ask the provinces of Delhi? Possible. I don't know if it works that way though, and I can't imagine it would. We'll find out in October. So I would be willing to try that. Oh, apparently we can tech up Diplo. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh, come on! No, in my opinion, having sinned as a vassal counts as him being, um, him being mine, so, you know, my vassals are allowed to have navies, certainly, yes. My vassals are allowed to have navies. I mean, my colonial nations are certainly allowed to have navies, so my vassals should be too. Oh, apparently that's way more expensive. <laughs> that's unfortunate. We've almost seeds up this fort. Uh, don't you fucking dare, you piece of ass, honestly.
not gonna work. Now I will be able to piece this out. So objects count. So, and we'd have a land connection into Delhi, so we can check out if that will work. Still need Baroda though. Need to ask for some of the provinces because otherwise he's gonna be like her, her, her. It's gonna be too expensive if I don't ask for at least some. But it's cheaper to take provinces than it is to vassalize someone at this stage. So Yeah, twenty percent taking that province off of thingy. Vassalize send. And then we can check if we can separate piece Delhi and ask for that province, but I don't know. Would I be able to ask for this? Oh my god, I would. It's a law. <laughs> it, that's gonna be. Okay, well, where is that stupid fucking province of yours? Is it Garwal or is it Kumul? Okay. Now then we might as well. If we're gonna do it like that. We might as well take this thing as well. Because then we'll be right next to Bengal. We don't need to do any weird stuff with Bengal. So, okay. And this is 33. Can we take 33? Oh, what do you know? We would in a couple months. So, you know. But I just like. I don't know, guys. I think. I think we may have failed. Yeah, I think we may have failed, but I don't know yet. I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee and have a smoke, and I'll be right back.
No, there is no way. Cause I need I need like eighty two percent off of Ming. And I mean it's not gonna happen. Sad day. Oh well, it was exciting while it lasted. Too bad though. Too bad. We fucked around way too much. At least try to get the achievement. I think even that is impossible because the achievement in the, the, the all the coastal provinces. I I have to occupy Ming. Like right, I, it's need Ming occupied right now. And there is no way I can do that in three years. The the forts would last longer. So you know. The forts alone would last longer. Yeah. Uh. Oh boy, it's so stupid too. Because if we had just fuck. <laughs> if only I had focused the achievement itself. But, I mean, who really cares about the achievement? The achievement itself isn't even that hard, but, yeah. We are so close. So fucking. I mean, look at this. We've been seizing this for so long, and it's still at negative seven. And we've got max cannons there, for sure. <laughs> for sure, we've got max cannons there. Fifty-one, yeah.
Hello? Nah, it's it's not gonna work. Ah, uh, so sad, so sad. <laughs> I mean, so close, so close. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm giving up my soldiers, my brave, loyal soldiers. Well, you know, it's not fun winning all the time. <sighs> we had fun while it lasted, and we got damn close to. Started in 
beautiful city of Oslo. We declared our independence from Denmark in a glorious war. <sighs> Quickly took control of the Lubeck trade node and the English Channel trade node. We helped the Novgorodians to regain their freedom and then we integrated them. Twice. Liberated Novgorod twice as they lost their land to Moscow. Uh, from 1500 onward, we had a coalition the size of Europe. Literally, the size of Europe, except for France. France was our ally. We got a PU over France, and then Got a PU over France, and then we lost it because our heir, our 655 heir, died due to a hunting accident. I am not making this up. <laughs> and a few months later, my king died without an heir, so we lost the French PU. Nonetheless, we uh, managed to. Gain control over the Americas, every coastal province of it, all of its naval supplies, your paid colts, wet and shivering. Did manage to get Mara Nostrum, even though the Turkish Crimean rebels did everything they could to stop it. Completely kick the shit out of those guys. Again and again and again. Oh. So sad. So sad. Oh, boy. I mean, it does look kind of nice, though. I still think it looks nice. Also, fun little fact, my entire country is connected. And... We got... Our font here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Because, yeah, all of it's connected. Look. <laughs> we, painted, uh, we painted a nice map. Yeah, I, I decided to throw in the towel. Oh man, we were so cocksucking close. Because look, all of these are 100% thable. We had the peace deals at the ready. All we needed to do was just ask. Well, I'd have to... Hold on. I'd have to do it like this. And then, uh, let's see, we don't need any of his non-coastal provinces. Which, you know, the non-coastal ones are the most expensive. Oh no, actually... No, we'd have to fight Japan twice. 
Yeah, we do have to fight Japan twice. I think. Yep. Yeah. No, it wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have worked. <sighs> Ireland definitely connected. <laughs> Uh. Oh. oh well anyway I'd like to thank you guys for watching please be sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe and if you're watching this on Twitch this entire playthrough is being uploaded to YouTube so uh, you know if you want to do Norwegian wood you can uh, follow my steps and then just not go for all the coastal provinces but just go for these provinces because uh, now we wanted to be all badass so we wanted to get all of the coastal provinces as well to make sure that we be the only ones with a navy and in hindsight, we probably should have gone for the naval supplies first. But going for the naval supplies first would have been inefficient. Like, if I had gone for the naval supplies first, there would be no chance I would be this far into having all the coastal provinces. Because if I had gone for the naval supplies, there'd be a giant coalition in Asia and in Europe. So I'd be able to get that, but that would be the end of the game, right? Because after that, it would be uh, impossible to move around, so. Couldn't really do that. Also, if you want to know how to deal with coalitions, you, you can probably watch this playthrough, because, you know. I did show off quite a couple of uh, nice little tricks you can do versus coalitions. In regards to managing truce timers, so that you won't have to fight the entirety of Europe at the same time, but more like half. And you can declare war on an ally of the coalition, and that's going to, uh, and then set the one of the coalition members as a co-belligerent, and then you can separate piece the entire coalition at fifty percent war score. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh well. Cheer up, Brian. You know what they say? Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the light side of life. If life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten. And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just purse your lips and whistle, ah, that's ah, the king. I think not. Always look on the bright side of life. You must always face the curtain with a bow. Forget about your scene. Give the audience a grin. Enjoy it. It's your last chance anyhow. So always look on the bright side of death. I just before you draw your terminal breath. 
Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. Yeah. <sighs> what now, Flora? Are you going to stream more? Oh, I don't know. You'll see it's all a show. I kind of want to stream more. Just remember that the last laugh is on you. Big perm and core every desert province. Always look on the bright side of life. Yeah, it was a great playthrough. But it would have been so cool to post on Reddit that I got the gold medal. It would have been so cool! I would have been able to get a thousand fucking subscribers within like two seconds! So, you know, that is so shit! Ah! Ah!